Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another video. Today I just wanted to show you all how you can FTP from any second device to your Xbox. Basically what this means is that you can easily transfer files from a computer or a phone onto your Xbox very, very easily. Right here, as you can see, all I have to do is drag this custom Minecraft add-on from my PC into this FTP server and there it is on my Xbox. It's very simple. And then once I do that, I can just use a file manager to import that add-on, but this doesn't just have to be for add-ons, it can be for video videos, photos, whatever files, this can work for anybody. Whatever you want to get on your Xbox, here's how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Microsoft Store on your Xbox and just type in File Downloader and download this app. It is 100% free and it will look exactly like this. But once you have File Downloader onto your device, go ahead and launch that. You'll get this screen right here and from this screen, you want to go to the top left of these three lines right here and press on those three lines and then go down to where it says Storage and press on the Storage button. After you press on storage, you want to go to where it says mapped folders and press on mapped folders. Then once you press on that, you want to go down to the bottom right right here to this plus icon. And you want to press on that, it looks like a folder with a plus, go ahead and do that. Now after you press on that, it'll take you to select folder. Go down on the left side, one button right here, press on this. Then you want to go to the right and go to where it says downloads, press on that downloads folder. And don't press on anything inside of the downloads folder, just make sure it says downloads right there and then press select. Then you can go ahead and press OK, and we have now mapped the folder to the Downloads folder, which is perfect, it'll then appear. Once you have done that, you want to go to the top left of your screen again to those three lines, press on them, and this time we are going to go down to where it says Server, and you're going to press on that option. After pressing on Server, it's literally as simple as pressing on Start right here, and that will begin your FTP server. So the way this works is that we're going to simply press Start right here, then you're going to go onto your second device and connect to this FTP server IP right here, and make sure that you have all devices on the exact same Wi-Fi. They have to be on the same Wi-Fi, that's the big one. You have to enter in the FTP server IP correctly, and your FTP server has to be running every time you try to connect to it. Those are the big issues that people may have if this doesn't work. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to hook up to this FTP server so you can easily drag files onto your Xbox from PC, Mac, iPhone, and Android. Here are the timestamps. Go to whichever second device you're going to use, but we're going to start with Windows 10. All right, so from your desktop, I just went to the File Manager. Then you want to go to where it says This PC on the left side and right-click on the This PC icon. After you right-click on that, you're going to go to where it says New Network Location, and you're going to add in a network location towards the bottom right here. Then you'll get this pop-up, and it's very simple first pressed on next then you're going to want to go ahead and press on next again and after you press on that now it's going to ask you for the ip for your ftp server so begin by entering ftp then the two dots the colon then two backslashes and then you want to enter in your ftp ip address and make sure it is 100 accurate this is that ip that was displayed on your xbox in the file downloader app when you pressed start go ahead and confirm that after you press on next it'll say anonymous just press on next again and then finally it'll give you this screen you can rename it to xbox or whatever you want to name your network so i name it xbox right there it doesn't matter but then go ahead and press on next again then it'll finally say finish and you want to press on finish it'll automatically open up and from here you want to go into your mapped folders once inside of the mapped folders you'll then see the download folder and that is your xbox's download folder and you can drag in whatever files you want so i go into the download folder and then i go ahead i grab whatever mc pack or whatever file you want to put onto your xbox and i just drag it in it'll take a couple of seconds and you'll then have it on your xbox which is perfect. I'll show you really quick what to do in the file manager. If you skip to this timestamp in the video, I'll show you what to do next in order to manage these files once they are in your downloads folder. Here's how to connect to the server from iPhone. So on the App Store, there's an app called FTP Manager. That's the one that I use. There are many apps, but FTP Manager, go ahead and get that for free, then launch that app. Once you launch the app, you want to press the plus sign in the top right of your screen. Then you want to go to where it says FTP right here, and we're going to set up our server. So once you press on that, in the top, display name can literally be anything. I just set it to Xbox. For the host name slash IP, that's where you want to enter in that IP address that's shown on your Xbox, the 192.168, whatever enter in that entire IP perfectly. Then for the port, I go down and I enter in 21 for the port. After the port, I go down to where it says transfer mode right here, and I go to where it says, I set that to where it says active, so the transfer mode is active, we have our IP, and that's perfect. You can then press on save in the top right of your screen to save that server. It'll then take you to this screen, and every single time that you open up FTP Manager, you will see your Xbox server underneath the connections, and you can see that if you press on that and that server is running on your Xbox, you will now be connected to your file. 
files. So once you have your add-ons downloaded, go to your files app on your iPhone. So enter the files app. Once inside of the files app, go to your download section, locate whatever file you want to transport to your Xbox and hold down on it. After you've held down on it, you'll get this screen. And from this screen, you want to go to where it says share down here and you want to press on share. Then you want to scroll all the way over on this bar right here to where it says more on the very far right. And you want to press on more. Then from these options, you want to scroll down until you see that orange FTP manager app and press on FTP manager. It'll then automatically take you into FTP manager and from here you want to press where it says copy to after you press on copy to it'll take you to this screen press on that Xbox connection that you created earlier after pressing on Xbox go to mapped folders and once you are inside of the mapped folders go to that downloads folder and once you are inside of the downloads folder just make sure it says downloads at the top you can press save right there on the bottom right and it will then automatically transfer that file onto your Xbox it'll take a few seconds but now skip to this timestamp in the video on what to do once you have your files imported I'm now going to show how to transfer for the files from an Android phone to your Xbox. Let's get into it. The two apps we need to do this on your Android are called and FTP and My Files. Now, My Files comes with every Android, I believe, but and FTP, I will have a, a link to that in the description if you want to go ahead and click on that link. But once you have these apps downloaded, the first one you want to go ahead and open up and FTP. Then from and FTP, you'll get this screen right here. And at the top of the screen, in the middle, you'll see this little plus sign on here, and you want to go ahead and press that plus sign because we want to add our server. So go ahead, press the plus sign, then you'll get this screen right here. What you want to do is go to where it says host name right here, and you want to type in that IP address that was on your Xbox, the 192.168. Point whatever that was shown on the uh, the Durango FTP on your Xbox, pretty much. Put that into the host name. That's pretty much just your local IP. But after you do that, you want to go down to where it says port right here, and you want to put in 21 for the port, just like this always. Make sure that says 21. Then what you want to do is go to the, the bottom middle here, and you want to go to where it says save, and it'll say, do you want to name it? Go ahead and rename that to Xbox or Xbox One, just so you know what it is, and just go ahead and press OK on that after that. So you go ahead and press OK, and then after that, it'll say successfully saved your device, the FTP server. Perfect. Go ahead and press OK on that also. And once you do that, you will then see your server right here in the middle of the screen every single time you load up this application you will see your Xbox One FTP server right here. And just remember, every time you want to access this server to edit your Xbox Minecraft files, you want to make sure that you have your Xbox One on and running that FTP server connected to the same Wi-Fi as your phone. So go ahead and download whatever add-on you want or whatever file you want to transfer to your Xbox and have it in your phone's download folder. Then go ahead and open up and FTP. So we've downloaded our add-on. It's in our downloads folder on our phone. Find that Xbox One server that you created earlier. You'll get this authentication step. Just press OK right here on the authentication. Then you will see some folders load. Now my folders will be different than yours, but the folder that you want to look for is called mapped folders. So locate the mapped folders that appears on your phone and press on mapped folders. Once inside of the map folders button, you'll see the one downloads folder and you want to press on that downloads folder. Now that we are in the downloads folder, we're going to import our custom add on to our Xbox. So press this third button up here from the right side. Once you press that third button, you want to go ahead and find your downloads folder on your phone. Once you're inside of your downloads folder, you want to look through your downloads folder until you find the add-on that you want to import. Once you found that add-on, all you want to do is hold down on it like this till it gets a green check mark. Then you want to press this upload button up here in the top right. Then it'll give you this screen and you want to press OK and that will begin uploading your add-on onto your Xbox or whatever your file is and it's really that simple. Then you want to go to this cloud button right here and once you press on that cloud, it'll take you back into your folder. So again, this is your downloads folder. Go ahead and import as many add-ons or whatever files you want to get onto your Xbox and then skip to this timestamp in the video. I'll show you the next step on how to import those add-ons. And from the Mac home screen, we actually need to download a, an application to get this to work on Macs. So go into the description of this video right here, and I'll have a link to this website right here called FileZilla. So click the FileZilla download link. And this is the FileZilla download page. So go ahead where it says download FileZilla client. You just want to go ahead and press on that. And from this screen, I just go ahead and pick the leftmost option right here because it's completely free. You want to go ahead and press download on this version of FileZilla all the way on the left right here. Click on that and that will basically start the, the download of your FileZilla application that you need for this to work. So press allow downloads and then that will go up to your top right right there and you can just watch that download and just wait for a second. Once that's done, go to your downloads and you will see this FileZilla installer right here and just simply press on that. It'll install itself and then you'll eventually get FileZilla. So just go through the installation process. And once you have FileZilla downloaded, that's basically the FTP service that we're going to use for Mac. It looks something like this. You want to go ahead and open that up and when you do, you'll be greeted with the screen right here. Now it's very simple from the screen. All that you want to do is go to where it says host right here and you want to type in that number that you that you wrote down, that you took a picture of, that you memorized from your Xbox console because that's the server that we need to connect to. So it's 192 usually for a lot of people. Enter that in right here into the host. You basically can skip the username, password, port. You can put in 21 in the port if you want. Just feel to put 21 in there. And then go ahead and press quick connect just like this. 
press OK on that, and when you do, you'll see on the right side of your screen, basically all your Xbox uh, files will pop up right here. That's the Xbox file server. Perfect. That's great if this happens. Then you will see some folders load. Now, my folders will be different than yours, but the folder that you want to look for is called Mapped Folders. So locate the Mapped Folders. That appears and press on Mapped Folders. Once inside of the Mapped Folders button, you'll see the One Downloads folder, and you want to press on that Downloads folder. Once you are in that Downloads folder, you are good to drag whatever add-ons you want into this download folder or whatever file files you want and then they will go onto your Xbox just simply drag them in here and there you go it's now on your Xbox and I'll now show you how to import these add-ons into your game so go back onto your Xbox after you've imported all of your files and go ahead and launch the expansion for Explorer's file browser. If you don't know how to get this, I can help you at my Discord link down below. And once you're inside of expansion for Explorer's, it's as simple as just clicking on the downloads folder on the left side of your screen or in the middle of your screen. And in there, you'll see all of your add-ons. And then you just import them the normal way that you would with any other add-on. Copy them all, go to your packages folder and do all the rest. If you need any more help, I can definitely help you at my Discord down below, but that is how to FTP to xbox in 2024 have a great rest of your day everyone it's been smitty peace out